Good evening guys, it's uh, 4.22 p.m. Today is November 8th. Today is a full moon day. And it was a roller coaster ride today, right? But luckily, we stopped trading up before 12 o'clock, you know. So, we get to keep our profit, you know. So, that's the beauty of it, you know. You need to know when to stop trading, you know. Don't be greedy. So, look at the notes. Notes were very powerful today, you know. Look. For buyers, NQ's dream and hunting levels are important, right? Uh, ESC's hunting level, Globex low are important. This is all for buyers, right? Yesterday's high end closing are aggressive buyers level uh, and important. Above Globex low, do not short unless there is a strong intraday situation developing with lots of pause and breakdowns. Was that situation present today before noon after open? No ideal scenario for bias now here is a powerful statement to hold above 11,000 in NQ and yes above 3815 those were my long location for today right of the open you know after a few minutes when it came down you know basically after 10 15 minutes RTY has to hold above it you know six for buyers midterm sellers are still active so expect responses on the way up into R and that is what essentially happened today you know from NQ NQ is still not out of the wood yet as long as it is below 11 200 500 so today's response was from 200 okay uh, and then these are the dream numbers as usual very very powerful right so notes were clear today and my longs are aligned with the notes see 3815 11000 right these are the dream numbers let the leg later on right preferred buyers area preferred buyers area longs right but we didn't trade it this right after looking at this you don't want to trade this even though it's a preferred right but the point is level held you know and nq max target max target area see that max target so here right i here i said multiple times in this call take profit call it a day off do not trade you know and look there was one long here but then the exit was here not here see that and this one i put it i put a screenshot right in discord right here you know when price was here i didn't even look for this the first touch here out first touch here out and then look what happened after that little high and boom little high and boom right so entries matters also you know but anyway so these were the trades you know you exit is always up to you right so you can bail out here this was a preferred sellers area right so you can bail out here earlier or after breaking this you can go long here you know but you have to watch intraday you know so this is where we were talking you know because nq was not moving higher about this preferred sellers area you know uh, i gave up my trade here but then I said, if NQ moves it, ES goes about 25, you know, I will get jump back in, you know, with the flow. This is what I did. Basically, I picked up the trade which I left off here, pick it up, right? And then you can see it. And this were the exits here and then long here, you know, I don't want to see, show you all these longs. But there was a long here also, you know, this was a clear day today, you know, it was a trend up day, right? All the way up to this point, there was no sign that it wants to tank because internals were all the way up to this point super duper bullish right the picture changed when momentum started going down below zero line multiple times and price was balancing right if it was a trend day up up to this point then it would continue or even hold above this 52 area you know but the moment it broke below it the day structure is changed and that's why you see all these things right and then look at it price came back all the way down up to this point and then again tank, right so you know now this area is important tomorrow right so and that's pretty much it you know there is nothing else for me to talk because it was clear setup you know right of the open right and then here you stop trading so I'm not going to discuss this thing afterwards, what happened, how you could have traded it. There is no point discussing these things because there is no way you can trade these things, right? 
because look at this by looking at this right everything was pointing higher right so now even though if price comes here you can't short it because and you can't go long either you know because now because of this breakdown price may go a little bit lower and you don't know which support is going to hold now you know ideally it should not have even come back down here but the moment it come back down here in this area somewhere right your day is good you can't go long you can't go short right yes this levels held it here look at this all this level held it right on the way back up support turn resistances right but you can't trade it because if i allow you to trade this in a garbage day like this after this then you will get screwed because look if you are let's say you are waiting for confirmation right and here you got lucky in shorting 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 and here it's breakdown below days low right and now you are shorting on the way up here right here you shorted it and then boom it took you out right then you are thinking man okay fine days low is broken everything is internals are tanking you know maybe this will work look stopped you out right and now you are thinking man vweb always works man i love vweb you know vweb always holds it and now it's a preferred seller area too let me short it you shorted it boom now man this high uh, you know uh, now it has to hold it you know god please and then boom see so wh whatever you you made here you basically lost everything right and now after three losses now you look at your mental situation here right because you whatever you got here you got lucky right and now you give back everything right now you will make a wrong decision at this point when it took out this you will think most likely i am betting you you will think 95% of the time you will think now it's going to go and make a new high right so up to this point you shorted it you lost and now when price pull back here right here you know now you are taking now you took long here you know hey it's a closing time it always runs up you know now it's going to go higher and then look what happened boom again you lost same my point this is what usually a day trader does you know and i'm giving you the right reason you know i'm showing you the truth here this is what happens so that's why it's advisable not to trade once price gets its maximum target because there is not much potential left whatever happens it's a bonus if it goes higher but you're not looking for a bonus you know look for a right trade don't look for bonuses otherwise you will give back everything you got you know so and same thing with yes you know and that be all for today you know